Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, there has been much to digest on Friday after returning from Thursday's public holiday in observance of the Queen's public morning holiday. As the central banks in Europe surprisingly came in and widely expected raised interest rates with the US Federal Reserve made another big rate hike and signaled that there were more on the way. Along with that, the US Federal Reserve on Wednesday, or Sydney at 4am, raised its interest rates by a substantial 75 basis points, and for the third straight time, from 2.50 to 3.25%, and signaled more large rate hikes are to be expected. When we view the Fed's dot plot pricing, which suggests that the US Fed Fund's target rate will hit around 4.25 to 4.5% by the end of the year. Also, overnight, the Bank of England raised its interest rates by another half a percent or 50 base points, while Switzerland's central bank raised its benchmark lending rate by the biggest margin to date, that is, of 0.75 or 75 base points and also indicated that they couldn't rule out at this present of more hikes. Elsewhere, central banks in Norway and also the Philippines also hiked rates as well. Looking at the Australian technical pattern though, since the break of 66.80, the market is very much holding to a negative case, and potentially while the bears are still holding the trend at the moment, when we look at the ASX, ADX, the fact is that we could see a slide towards the region of 65.95, 65.5, and, and with the objective targets, that is, of 64.80.90. The euro also remains heavy since the dollar index, which measures the greenback strength against a basket of six major currencies, rallied post Fed and hit the 111 and currently remains there, while the euro in, on the flip side crushed the level of 98.80. And now heading lower towards an objective of 96.4080 in light of the pattern. We are oversold, but with the dollar pushing higher, the market is still holding to a somewhat negative outlook due to the current candles, and therefore we could see that target reached before any reversal. As feared, the market was tested in that higher level of 145 on Thursday, and as the yen spikes above there. Confirmation came through from Vice Finance Minister from the International Affairs, Masato Kanda, said that we have taken decisive action and responding to the affirmative when asked if they meant interventions. And that is, we can see that the market, even if we look at it, the one hour time frame, plummeted 500 points and therefore has put a bit of a dent in the technical pattern since the intervention, and therefore looks towards, with the first target claimed at 142.75 from the rejection of 145, I believe the market has potential now reaching 139.5, because no doubt any further upside tests, we could see another round of interventions from the Bank of Japan. Reassess from 139.5. Well, the British pound still remains somewhat heavy after hiking its interest rates by 50 basis points on Thursday from 1.75 to 2.25 in a bid to tame inflation. That is just off a 40 year high. Five members of the Bank Monetary Policy Committee, the PMC, voted 50 basis point rate hike, while three favoured 75 basis points and one voted for 25. The decision to hike 50 basis point, that is, despite the fact that the Bank of England has warned inflation was an continues at an elevated high over the medium term, could still see further whips or price action. But we've got an ADX supporting a bad case, and downside potential still holds at this stage around 111 to 112 and reassess from there. The market would need to clear the 113.95 level to give any indication to a bullish case. There is a bit of divergence on the MACD, so depending on, in on how we slip further, I'm getting to a point where I'm actually expecting to see a correction to the bull case. So let's see. After numerous attempts at this top side level of 1,678.82, the 
gold outlook is still holding to a negative case. We've got a long legged doji in play here since the rejection from 82, and the technicals are firming up slightly. But it really depends on what the dollar index does now, it's above 111. It may actually push on to 113 as a potential target now. But in, on the flip side, we do need to see gold clear 1,682 to support any bullish case up for a correction of 1,711.13. And in the meantime, we could still see the downside look if this continues to cap and we target the 1,635. Well, like gold, the market is struggling to take on that topside challenge around $86.55.65. And I'm still holding that we could potentially reach $81 before any turnaround. We did see a stab earlier, but the market seems to be getting heavy as it closes towards the bottom side of the range. And with the RSI and an ADX supporting the bear case, you could see the downside test. Beneath 81 is 78.3090 as the next target. Until we clear that 86.565, which would give a projection up to $88, I feel the market still will remain bearish. Well, that wraps it for the week. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, look out the Inch Report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new weekend.